Stone Cold denies rumors Kevin Owens thanks to his fans MJF when a world title Soraya says she had to step up her wrestling game in AEW. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Suhaib and you are watching Wrestling Fact. First update. Stone Cold Steve Austin breaks silence amid WWE return speculation. Legendary WWE superstar Stone Cold Steve Austin commented on the rumors regarding his potential comeback to the squared circle. It was recently reported that the Texas Rattlesnake enjoyed his return to the ring and is seemingly open to the idea of returning to the ring once again down the road. The report also stated that WWE offered Stone Cold a deal for another match that could potentially take place at WrestleMania 39. To add further fuel to the fire, Steve Austin recently posted a video of him working out on Instagram, where the 57-year-old looks in incredible shape. However, in a new update on Instagram, Austin disclosed that his recent training videos have nothing to do with a comeback to the squared circle. The Texas Rattlesnake, however, did not deny the rumors about his WWE future. People have been speculating hey Steve, what are you doing? What are you training for? You training for an event? You can speculate what you want, I just looked in the mirror and realized that I looked like SHT, so I called my diet coach up. As far as body weight goes, probably sub 232 the leanest I've been in SHT, forever. Anyway that's the bottom line. I just got tired of, I looked in the mirror and I looked like SHT. Got tired of looking like SHT, so I'm taking action to do something about it, said Steve Austin. Do you want to see Stone Cold Steve Austin compete at WrestleMania 39? Sounds off in the comments section below. Second update Kevin Owens thanks fans after his return on last night's WWE Smackdown. WWE superstar and former Universal Champion Kevin Owens made his return to television last night after an extended absence. With many fearing that the Brzee fighter would be out of action for some time after reports of him suffering an injury at a recent house show surfaced. Fortunately, that wasn't the case. Owens joined the Brawling Brutes in their fight against Roman Reigns and the Bloodline and will be competing at next weekend's War Games Premium Live event against the group. Today, Owens has taken to Twitter to thank the fans for their support, adding that he will always give them everything he has inside the squared circle. His full tweet reads, Just wanted to say thank you. Seeing the response to my return and how much you guys missed me being on your TV screen is truly humbling. You all made last night a career highlight for me and in return, I promise to always give you guys everything I have. Every. Single. Time. Third update MJF wins the EW world title during full gear. MJF failed to beat John Moxley for the AEW world championship at All Out on September 5, 2022. Tonight. He was finally able to pin Mox for the richest prize in the promotion, with a little assistance from one of wrestling's most revered figures. MJF squared off against John Moxley for the AEW World Championship in the main event of Full Gear tonight. The devil himself entered the arena to a huge ovation from the crowd. The closing moments of the match saw MJF and Mox knock the referee. Another referee arrived and he too got knocked out of action. MJF resisted attacking Mox with his signature ring. William Regal entered the picture and warned Max against using the ring. Regal asked Mox to get the fallen referee. He then handed Max a pair of brass knuckles, turning heel on Moxley in the process. Max took advantage of the distraction and hit Mox with a foreign object becoming the new AEW world champion and the process. What's your take on this story? Sound off in the comments. 
Fourth update Soraya says she had to step up her wrestling game in AEW. Soraya signed with Avenue W because she wanted to get back inside the ring. The former WWE star wrestled her return match against Dr. Britt Baker at the Full Gear pay-per-view event last night. Soraya defeated the DMD after several minutes of action. The match contained some pretty scary-looking spots as well. Soraya revealed during the post-Full Gear press conference that she had to step up her wrestling game in AEW. In AEW I felt like I had to step up my wrestling game. Wrestling everywhere are fantastic, but I feel that the caliber of AEW women's wrestling is so high, I was like, man we have Tony Storm and Jamie Hayter. They are just so good. Soraya is still working out the rustiness. It remains to be seen if Soraya will get her next challenge next week on Dynamite. Thanks for watching see you guys in my next video.